So, Bethesda has finally done it. Legacies and hacked weapons have finally been removed from Fallout 76, and now, all of a sudden, the balance returns somewhat. The cries of the overpowered players that clutch desperately onto their explosive flamers and superpowered dragons can be heard far and wide all across Appalachia, and life is good. Hi, I'm Nukov. Welcome to the Wasteland. For years, legacy weapons were a constant in Fallout 76. They were an ever-present force that almost guaranteed the rapid shutting down of a Scorch Beast Queen or an Earl Williams. If you've never heard of the term before, perhaps you're new to Fallout 76 or you literally live inside a vault, a legacy weapon in Fallout 76 is a weapon that was essentially removed and made unobtainable, but yet was kept in the game by Bethesda and never formally deleted. Typically, these are going to be energy weapons that boast explosive effect attributes, a cryolator or a flamer, for example. But really, it's effectively any weapon that can no longer drop in the game owing to updates, and aside from a few armor items or pieces of apparel, it's a term that almost exclusively is reserved for weapons. It's basically just broken or OP weapons that Bethesda tried to get rid of, but never actually succeeded in doing so. So, once upon a time, Bethesda Game Studios promised to ultimately fix legacy weapons, explosive ones in particular, but it was never delivered effectively, and the work that was done kind of just made them more powerful. There were players running around Appalachia with legacies and hack weapons quite literally one-shotting Scorch Beast Queen. But as of January the 24th, 2023, Bethesda has officially removed illegal mods from Fallout 76, forever impacting the pool of legacies that has been floating around for a very long time. Essentially, if a player held a hacked or legacy weapon before the update, went offline, then came back online after the update, they'd find that their legacy now boasted a considerable drop in damage and the erroneous mods would have been removed. That's what has happened now. And far and wide across the community, people are being divided. On the one hand, some players are returning because of this newfound balance in the game. But on the other hand, on the side of those that own the legacy weapons, this is nothing but a bad thing. It's an infringement. It's an outrage. It's disgusting. It's really not all that deep. I'm on the side of the I don't really care party, in the yes, it wasn't ever the most enjoyable thing to enter an event plagued by legacy weapons, but at the same time, it never frustrated me to the point of quitting the game. If anything was going to make me quit Fallout 76 for good, it's going to be the lack of meaningful updates, not the presence of, or lack of, legacy and hacked weapons. To those mourning the loss of their legacies, I say this. Grow up and play the game properly, like the vast majority of the community, and stop crying over the loss of your fictional digital assets. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe for more Fallout content, and I'll see you in the next one.